Hi everyone, this video is to go over iReady lesson, write equations for proportional relationships. Students are selling t-shirts for a school fundraiser. The table shows the amount they raise from the t-shirt sales. Complete each statement. Okay, so here we see if this is our x value and this is our y value, we're going to do y divided by x, and each time we do that, we're going to get an answer of 4. 4 divided by 1 is 4. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 12 divided by 3 is 4. And 16 divided by 4 is 4. So we're going to type is in here. And we're going to say that the amount raised in dollars our y value is always going to depend on the number of shirts that are sold. So the y value is always going to depend on the x value, making our y value the dependent variable and our x value the independent variable. So net, right now we're going to type that in. Amount raised is the dependent variable and the number of shirts sold is the independent variable. In a proportional relationship, the value of the dependent variable depends on the value of the independent variable. So now our what constant, is the constant of proportionality? we already found is 4, because when we divided each one, we got an answer of 4. Complete the equation to show the relationship between the number of shirts sold, so x, If you remember and the correctly, raised, y. our equation for a proportional relationship is y equals k times x, where k represents the constant of proportionality. So all, we'll, all we are going to do is type 4 in there, and that's our nice equation, job. y equals 4x. When a relationship is proportional, you can multiply the independent variable by the constant of proportionality to find the dependent variable. The table shows the price of different amounts of gourmet coffee at a grocery store. Complete the statement. Here we see that our price is $7.50 and the amount of coffee is one pound. So the price is going to depend on the amount of coffee and our unit rate is going to be 7.5 or $7.50. What is the constant of proportionality? And now we're just gonna plug Complete that right in to, show to the our equation. That's right. Hero is packing water bottles to take on a hike with his friends. He wants to make sure that their backpacks are not too heavy. The table shows the weight of different numbers of water bottles, where B is the number of bottles and W is the weight in pounds. Complete okay, so statement. again, we're going to see that the weight here is our Y value, so that's our dependent variable, and our X is the number of bottles. So the weight is going to depend on the number of bottles, and from our chart, we can see that our constant of proportionality is going to be one dollar, uh, one point two five pounds. So one point two five pounds is our constant. And Complete we're going to substitute that into our equation, the number of and we're good Great. to go. Daniel reads for the same amount of time each day during his lunch break. The graph shows the number of days and the number of minutes he spends reading. Okay, proportional the relationship and the graph straight the line information about a proportional through the origin. relationship. Complete the statement. So our y value is over here. So the time and the number of minutes is going to depend on our x value, which is the number of days. So now we have y what divided by x, proportionality? which is 20. Substitute Complete that into equation our equation. To show the relationship between the number of days, x, and the total reading time, y. Good. All shoes are on sale at Fabulous Footwear at the same discounted rate. Okay, look the points here. on the graph same show the thing. regular price and the Straight sale line price through of the different origin. pairs of shoes. Complete the statement. Okay, so the sale price, which is on our y-axis, is going to depend on the regular price, which is on our x-axis. 
What number do you multiply the regular price by to find the sale price? So let's find the our constant of, proportionality. constant of proportionality. So we're going to do 10 divided by 20, which will give us 1 half or 0.5. Don't forget your decimal point. Complete the equation to show the relationship between the regular price, x, and the sale price, y. Plug that in. You got it. And we're good. Aluminum is a metal that can be repeatedly recycled. Many states have bottle bills where a customer pays a deposit when buying aluminum cans. That deposit is paid back when the customer returns the empty cans to the recycling center. At the recycling center, Customers are paid the same amount for each can that they return. The manager is making a graph to show the amount a customer is paid for returning cans. What does the point represent? Complete the statement. The point represents, so we have $1.5 or $1.50 for 30 cans returned. So here we're going to type in when 30 cans are returned, a customer is paid $1.50. How much are customers paid for each can that is returned? Okay, so we're going to do $1.50 divided by 30. And when we do that, we're going to get 0 0.05, which is 5 cents. Make sure you have a you zero. Find the constant of proportionality after your by dividing point. the y value by the x value in any ordered pair. And we're going to substitute Complete that the equation in to show the relationship between x. And we're nice good. work. Mrs. Rao pays the same amount each month for internet service. She is making a graph to show the amount that she pays over time. What does okay. the point represent? So over Complete four months, she is paying $160. So we have four months, $160. How much does Mrs. Rao pay each month for internet service? We're going to do 160 divided by four, which will give us $40. And put that in our equation. Complete the equation to show... The veterinarian gave Avery instructions on how to feed her new puppy. Avery is making a graph to show the calories the puppy needs to grow at a healthy rate. What does the point represent? Over Complete two the days, the puppy has to consume 1,000 calories. Two days, 1,000 calories. To how find the unit rate, we're going to divide. 1,000 divided by 2 is 500. Complete the equation to show the relationship. Here. And we're good. Volunteers are organizing a dance marathon to raise money for the senior center. Participants are paid the same amount for each hour that they dance. Marlena will raise $60 if she dances for four hours. Write an equation that shows the amount participants raise for any number of hours they dance. First, define the variables. What do X and Y represent? Okay, so right here, we see that Y is going to represent the number of dollars raised and X is gonna represent the number of hours danced. How much money is raised for every hour participants dance? We're going to do 60 divided by 4, so we know that that is 15. So it's 15 hours, for $15 per hour. Which equation shows the relationship between X, the number of hours danced, and Y, the number of dollars raised? So right here, Y equals 15X. That's it. Mars has less mass than Earth. So the surface gravity is also less than it is on Earth. The difference in gravity means that the weight of an object on Mars is less than its weight on Earth. The relationship between the weight of an object on Mars and its weight on Earth is proportional. An object that weighs 50 pounds on Earth would weigh 20 pounds on Mars. Which equation shows the relationship between X, 
an object's weight on Earth and why its weight on Mars. So we're doing 20 divided by 50, which is going to give us 0 0.4. So we want this equation. Well done. Now we're going to break it down. Remember, the equation needs to show what an object's weight on Mars would be given its weight on Earth. What so do X y and is y Mars represent? and X is Earth. Complete the statement to find now the constant we divide of proportionality. 20 divided by 50 and we know we get 0 0.4. Which equation shows the relationship between X, an object's weight on Earth, and Y, its weight on Mars? A local bike shop rents electric bikes that customers can use and return to different sites within the city limits. The company charges customers based on the number of minutes they use the bike. Tim paid $3 to rent a bike for 30 minutes. Write an equation that shows the price to rent a bike for any number of minutes. Okay, so we're gonna do $3 divided by 30, to rent a bike? which would give us 10 cents. So make sure you put decimal point one. Now, P is our total price, so it's going to be P equals 0.1M. Destiny works at a clothing store where she is paid by the hour. Last week, she worked 12 hours and made $114. Write an equation to show so the amount Destiny is paid for any number of hours divided by 12. When we do 114 How much is Destiny paid per hour? divided by 12, we get $9.50. So our equation, equation shows is the relationship be between H, the number of hours worked, and P, the amount paid. Right here, this equation. P equals 9.5 times H. Let's take our quiz. The table shows the price of strawberries this week at the produce place. What is the constant of proportionality? We see Complete right here statement. from the chart, our constant of proportionality is going to be 2.50 or 2.5. We're going to substitute Complete that right in here. To show the relation. And we're done. Water consumption refers to the amount of water people take in. Not only is water used for drinking, it is also used to produce the food that people eat. Mr. Murphy is making a graph to show his class the amount of water a person consumes from food and beverages over time. Okay, what so we have 48 represent? gallons, Complete 48 statement. gallons for four days. And we're gonna divide 48 divided by four to get our unit rate or our constant of proportionality. How many Which gallons is of water does a person consume each day? 12. Complete the statement. And we're going to put that in Complete our equation. Complete the equation to show the rule. Zach delivers pizzas and is paid by the hour. So $40 per four hours. Four hours. Forty dollars. Write an equation that shows the amount Zach is paid for any number of hours he works. How much is Zach paid per hour? So $40 divided by four hours is going to give us $10 per hour, which now we're going to put into our equation. Which equation shows the relationship between H, the number of hours worked, and P, the amount paid? City Scooters charges customers by the minute to rent an electric So $9 scooter. divided Jonah by 60 minutes. 60 minutes and paid $9. Write an equation that shows the price to rent a scooter for any number of minutes. So nine what is the price dollars to rent a scooter? divided by 60 Complete minutes is going to give us 15 cents per minute. Which equation shows the relationship between X, the number of minutes, and Y, the price? Right here, Y equals 0.15X. The table shows the price of blueberries this week at the produce place. Here's our constant of proportionality, 3.75. Now, Complete we're going to put that right the in our equation. Between the price, P. 
Monique is making a graph to show the amount of water that her horse needs over time. Twenty-four gallons in three days. What does the point represent? Twenty-four Complete gallons in three days. We're going to divide to find our constant. Twenty-four divided by three is going to give us eight. How many so gallons eight of water gallons does of Monique's water horse need each day per day? Now we're going to put that in our Complete equation. The equation. Leona delivers food for a catering service and is paid by the hour. So fifty-five dollars. She works per five hours. Five hours. Fifty-five dollars. Write an equation that shows the amount Leona is paid for any number of hours she works. So fifty-five How much is paid per hour? divided by Complete five is eleven dollars per hour. Which equation shows the relationship between H, the number of hours worked, and P, the amount paid? Okay, now if P is our total, we know that we want to multiply it by 11 hours, so that's good. And we're done. Rent All Scooters charges customers by the minute to rent an electric scooter. Antonio rented a scooter for 40 minutes and paid $4.80. Write an equation that shows the price to rent a scooter for any number of minutes. What is the price per minute to rent a scooter? Okay, so we have to do $4.80 divided by 40 minutes, which will give us 12 cents per minute. Which equation shows the relationship between x? Y the equals 0.12 and y times x. And we're done. Make sure you watch your quiz all the way through to the end till iReady gives you a grade. Bye.